came in really subtle and you're like, okay, it's not bad. They just said, okay, let's go and pray. Mm. You know, that we have a prayer meeting somewhere. Mm. You guys can always join. I mean, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But when you get there mm -hmm. for this prayer meeting, mm -hmm. they, wear red and black. <laughs> they might not even wear red and black. You know, that kind of thing. But it's just that your spirit will not resonate yeah, with yeah, whatever it is that they're saying. Mm. So by the time you're out of there, you know that, see, we are, not, we, are not, we are not coming back here. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi everybody! Welcome to this episode of True Talk. We're glad to have you join us today. And if you have been following, you will have noticed we've been doing a series on the waiting, waiting and pregnancy. And we have an amazing person, a wonderful brother and uncle in our midst Yay. to do justice. <laughs> we have Hello. with us, yes, sir, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. We have with us Evangelist. Dambola Salako, we call him Uncle Sally. <laughs> We're glad to have you, sir. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much, sir. So, Uncle, Uncle Sally is a drama minister, amongst other things. But can you just let us know more about you? Um, I'm Adi Dambola Salako. Yes, I'm a drama minister and um, an entrepreneur, uh, basically into manufacturing of paints. And um, we also take on painting projects. So that's our core business. You know. Yes, and also to the glory of God, he's a father. <laughs> he's a father, and that's what we're discussing today. So before we go into that, we'll be going on a short break, and we'll be right back. Mothers to the nations, carry us on visions. We are, we are. Knighted by the Spirit, walking with the Master. We are. The Women Intercessors for World Drama Mission and Christian Ministries presents All Mothers Global Summit 2022. Theme, Be Fruitful. Are you a mother or a mother-to-be? Come and understand the mind of God for marriage, homes, and ministries. Ministering. Evangelist Gloria Bamiloye, Pastor Mrs. Busola Olotu, Evangelist Tony Fatusi, Evangelist Busola Ajayi, Evangelist Tokumbo Jairet and other anointed ministers of God. Date Friday 22nd to Sunday 24th April 2022. Time 4 p.m. Venue Zoom Meeting ID 8530050698. Passcode Mothers. This program is powered by the Vision Carriers Global Mission. Welcome back, welcome, welcome back. back. So like we said earlier, we have Uncle Sally with us and we'll be, he'll be doing justice to the issue of waiting. Now from the husband's perspective, because we've always heard, I personally have heard testimonies from you know women, mothers, how it was for them during the waiting, but we really never heard how it was for, a, for the husband. And we'll have him share with us on that. So um, Uncle Sally, please can you let, tell us how was the experience like for you as a man? Okay, um, <clears throat> I think it, w it was in um, different categories, okay. like different stages in marriage. You know, there's this first part where <laughs> um, the anxiety is so much, okay. maybe the first year when almost every month is a, is, um, a prospective month. Yeah, <laughs> you, not you, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe for one reason or the other, the thing didn't come in <laughs> the number of days that you already anticipated, you know, that kind of thing. So that's like a stage. And um, another stage is where, okay, you just pray that, look, okay, we are fine, we are good. <laughs> you know, let's just put everything in the hands of God and mm. all that. But nevertheless, even when that happens, you are still hopeful, mm. you know, you are still expecting that, okay, something would, something will come you know that kind of thing and then it, it now gets to a stage where you have um, maybe friends 
um, younger ones, mm. getting married, mm. having, having, children. having children, and you are being invited for almost every oh name ceremony. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. you have been invited for almost every naming ceremony and you have to pray for the kids yeah. and all that. You're like, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. And then it gets to another stage where you're just like, I'm not even going for naming again. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing. And um, yes, it's, uh, it's always a process. It's always a process. And, but one thing is sure, that um, have the right partner. Mm -hmm. You know, have the right partner. Uh, when the Bible said two shall become one, mm -hmm. you knew what it was saying. Mm -hmm. you know, and both of you are there to encourage each other. Yeah. You are there to support each other, mm -hmm. both mentally and physically, seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of thing. But for, for, for us, you know, we've also had other stages in our marriage before we eventually, you know, had, uh, before we had these lovelies, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Well, you know, the stage of where you are almost completely disappointed mm -hmm. for different reasons, for different reasons. You, you have plugged in your prayers, you have plugged in your resources, you have plugged in so much. And then just at the till end when you think everything is fine, mm -hmm. you know, it now comes back, you know, with a disappointment. That's like a completely different stage and very delicate one because mm -hmm. at that point um, you you just need to create a balance mm -hmm. as a man. You you are devastated quite all right, but, but you have to be strong. You have to be strong <laughs> for for the other person. You know that kind of thing. And I, I remember I remember in twenty twenty was it twenty sixteen thereabout yes twenty sixteen that um may our hopes never be cut short mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that kind of thing we had so much hope we we had carried for a number of months you know and then eventually the baby came mm -hmm. and you know said oh so so, so this and that and, you know and the baby didn't make it uh, mm -hmm. and i was torn between um, you know, a baby that didn't make it and a wife in surgery, mm. you know, that kind of thing. I mean, that's like, mm. <laughs> that's something, you that's know, tough. nobody there to support yeah. you. Mm. Know? I think I've always been, I've always been a candidate of being alone with my own, mm. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Mm. So I have to like support her. I have to be there. You know, there are times you really want to cry as a man, mm. yes, you, because you think about these things and you're just like, oh God, no, not mm. this one, mm. you know, that kind of thing. But yes, I said, you want men cry, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, men cry, you know, in our closets, it's good to cry on each other's shoulder, mm. you know, when she's crying, you're crying, yes, mm. both of you will be fine <laughs> at the end of the day. You'll be fine and stronger mm. at the end of the day. Mm. So for me, it's it's just been in different mm. stages, you know. Mm. And then the final stage where, okay, you're not like, okay, this one, that perfect short. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Yes, you, your, your, your blood pressure is <laughs> aggravating. <laughs> your thoughts are running wild. You know, every time you check, everything is fine. Mm. And still you're like, okay, <laughs> you, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, when the time now eventually comes, mm. you're so all over the place, you know. You want to use the toilet, you want to, <laughs> you want to do almost a lot of things at that point. You know, that kind of thing. But as God will have it, everything became okay. Mm. And... Um, we are grateful thank that, God. Thank God. That, you know, that kind of thing. Well, we thank God. So how long was the wait? 12 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 12 years. Wow. 12 years. Yes, 12. Wow. Okay, so but did you experience pressure as a man? You know, you know we hear it from women, mm. from mothers, but did you experience pressure? Um, from family, none. Mm. Yes, none from from both families, wow. we didn't, wow. we were, I mean, blessed wow. with good family members that understood what it was to, to wait, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. But um, outside the family, you know, there are times when you just have some people call you and they're like, 
I'm just checking up on you, but uh, mm. don't you think, mm. you know, that kind of thing, suggest all sorts of things, mm. you know. And nobody knows whether you have even done a checkup. Mm. They don't even know whether anything, you know, but they'll be like, ah, there's one hospital, there's <laughs> one this, there's, you know, everybody wants to prescribe mm. their own. I know, yes, it's a good fit, but, you know, it doesn't really help matters because you know that you're just waiting on God to do his own mm. thing, that you're fine, you've done your checks, and everything is fine, mm. you know, that kind of thing. So the, the, the pressure really wasn't from family members. It was more of other external bodies, you know, other external bodies like you going for namings and it's like, ah, you are next. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Yes. You're always next in every name. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Like, ah, you are next in every Who told you are next? You, know? <laughs> you don't know if I'm next. It's God that knows now. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. So those are just the little, little things mm. here and there, you know. Mm. Yeah, those are little Wow, little that's things. interesting. So also, like, sir, were you, were there, was there any moment when you were weak, when you felt weak, like you can't take this anymore? This is the height, I'm, I'm down, I need to be strengthened from an external um, party. For me, for me, for me, was I weak at any point? Um, okay, maybe I, I, I got weak after 2016. Okay. You know, I got weak after 2016 because I was really devastated over, you know, the disappointment we had mm. in 2016. But somehow, I was able to pick myself up. We were able to pick ourselves up, actually, you know. But the truth about it is that um, no matter how strong you think you are, there are times that you just think about it and you don't even want to try. Mm. You know, you just don't even want to try again. You know, you have studied the calendar so much mm. and <laughs> you already know when the calendar, what the calendar is saying per time. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And it becomes so boring and so, so you just want to like, see, let's just, mm. let's just be sleeping, eating and waking up at <laughs> You know, that kind of thing. So that has been the lows, you know, that I personally have oh, had, okay. you know, and, um, but because I know I have to be there okay. for my wife, okay. I just have to always pick myself up because she can be down and I will be down, down. at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, so at that point, I'm the one trying to encourage her that, don't you have, let us, let us do, you know, that kind of thing. You know, so it comes in like that mm. for the two of us. So, mm. yeah. Oh, thank you very much for that, sir. So, sir, in times when you were weak or your wife was weak, how were you able to, you know, help her to bounce back or to encourage her, to strengthen her? One thing that um, we have always enjoyed over the years is communication. Mm -hmm. We talk about almost everything and anything. When we fight, we talk about it. <laughs> when we, fight, we talk about it, you know, that kind of thing. And yes, there are times that um, might not be immediate, you know, that kind of thing, but we always end up talking about it. And like I said, um, it's good to have the right partner. It's good mm -hmm. to have a friend. Mm -hmm. You know, a friend is someone that you can talk about almost anything yes. at any time. Mm -hmm. You know, just not a partner, but a friend mm -hmm. if for, 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 if it's just a partner that you have, mm -hmm. there are so many times that the friendship will not come in, so to say. Mm -hmm. But when you have a friend and a partner, it means when the partnership <laughs> is, you know, shaking, shaking the friendship comes Steps to, in. yeah, mm -hmm. the friendship comes in, and then you guys are able to talk about all those things. So even when it's in my head, when I'm weak or she's weak and it's in my head, um, I just know that I just need to bring it up in a conversation mm -hmm. and sometimes give time, mm -hmm. yeah, because um, there are times that she would be very weak and she's not even ready to accept Talk whatever about. proposal mm -hmm. you bring, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. She's not ready to accept any proposal. She's mm -hmm. just like, see, I'm tired, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So for someone like that, you just need to give her some time, mm -hmm. reintroduce it again, mm -hmm. you know, give space, reintroduce it again until finally she's able to you know, mm -hmm. get what you're trying to say. You know, because it's, it's difficult to tell someone to keep trying the same thing times over. Mm. For your, I mean, something you have tried, 
he doesn't know that he's writing why he's saying. By the time he's writing it two, three times, it becomes, <laughs> uh, maybe it's not for me, you know, that kind of thing, you know. So you just need to gradually reintroduce mm -hmm. from time to time. But communication is very key. Yeah. Communication is key. Thank you very much, sir. So before we go on with this session, with the questions and with this amazing session, we will go on a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back, welcome back from the short break. And so we're going on with our session. So was there any time you considered other options aside from God, aside from just waiting? Were there times where you just thought that, let me just hit the advice of this friend that is hinting something else? Were there times you was... Um, um, the truth about it is, um, yes, those options will always come, whether you like it or not, mm. you know? But um, it's for you to talk yourself out of those options because these options sometimes they look real. Mm. They actually look real. They be like, ah, that's how somebody did it, mm. and it, it worked for them. them. <laughs> you know that kind of, That's how somebody did it, and it worked for them. You know. I remember a time when a person was like, oh, I didn't even know you had been waiting for so long. Mm. You know. See, I have prayer partners. You know that will pray with you. That will okay. Okay, fine, prayer partners. And then somebody now calls and says, Oh, I'm the prayer partner. You know, we're going to come to your house with so, so, so something, something. We would do vigil in your house. We will do, we will do, you know, those kind of things yes. now. And you're not like, so Okay. Yes. You know, and, yes. not, and now you're like, Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, but never accept what people bring to your table just like that mm. and never throw it away instantly sometimes you know just give them time so that they will feel too bad <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to help yes you know it's just like ah thank you where she gone ah, you know, beautiful you know i'll call you back <laughs> you know that kind of thing so i mean different different options have have actually come that way and yes um at the peak of it yes this one wasn't even something that was out of you know the 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 ordinary we actually considered even adoption mm -hmm. which was an option yeah, yes it is. Oh, i mean mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. an option yeah. but we tried even that one and it was failing wow. <laughs> you know it was failing we were on a very long yeah. list of you know long lists of of waiting mm -hmm. that was another waiting session <laughs> in oh. itself you know mm -hmm. it was another waiting session in itself but but god will always be true to his mm. word whatever god. he says he would do mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing so so even while we were still on the adoption list and oh um, we're still like okay and then god now brought you know like okay you will see your own seed mm -hmm. you would do this you do that and, you know he made it wow. easy in his own time. Yes. You know, he actually made it easy in his own time. Yeah, I, from what you said, I was able to pick that, you know, the alternatives that the, the devil brings sometimes they're not like look like alternative, like a, a, a wrong thing. It may just be sought to, like, yes. let me just, you know, let's just do this. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily like in the Yoruba movies, like, let's go and make one more babala. <laughs> yes, it just yes. seems very, very sought to, like, it's not, it doesn't look so bad. Yeah, in fact, some of the, there are like a few of those alternatives that. I mean, they came in really subtle and you're like, okay, it's not bad. They just said, okay, let's go and pray. Mm. You know, that we have a prayer meeting somewhere. Mm. You guys can always join. I mean, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But when you get there mm -hmm. for this prayer meeting, mm -hmm. they, they might not even wear red and black. You know, that kind of thing. But it's just that your spirit will not resonate yeah. with whatever it is that they're saying. Mm. So by the time you're out of there, you know that, see. We are, not, we, are not, <laughs> we are not coming back here. You know that kind of thing. Yes, they are calling God. They are, mm -hmm. they are praying. Mm -hmm. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. They, are, they, are, they, are, they are people of God. They are, they are calling God's name and all. But somehow, somehow, mm -hmm. something is off, it, something is off yeah. and it just does not resonate. Mm -hmm. So, and once it doesn't resonate, whatever anybody tells you, I always tell them, see, whatever they tell you, mm -hmm. for as long as it does not resonate. Mm -hmm. It is not your way. Mm, mm, mm. If it is your way, God Himself will make it resonate yes, in your heart. Yes. That, okay, this is the way. Yes, yes. One thing I also think is cool. that despite the fact that you were feeling pressured and all, you didn't lose your stance, mm. your belief, oh, you didn't lose your faith oh, in God. Oh, you were still true, up. True. Oh, oh, you were still that's, 
that you should never do. Mm. That you should never do. Mm. That you should never do. Because I remember um, this last time, there was a time I had to go through the word mm. and I picked out, you know, God's promises concerning mm. conception, mm -hmm. concerning, you know, childbirth and all that. And in my heart of hearts, it was something that held me going mm. at that point because like you know that kind of thing i kept saying it mm -hmm. and saying it i kept reading it out mm -hmm. and reading it i think one of those days uh, i even posted one of it on my status and someone was like ah, it be money and i'm like okay don't worry you hear you hear when when, when it happens you know that kind of thing yes. so that, okay well, yeah remember remember me to come and eat rice <laughs> so don't worry uh -uh. it will be a good news it's me really, and you know, it's worth kind of thank thing. god and we thank god thank you. Thank you. God is our anchor, really. Yes. Cannot, we can't really get any strength and any other anchor as strong as the word of God mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and God himself. Mm -hmm. Honestly, honestly. And I like the fact that I said you went through the word to, you know, get scriptures. Because most times we hear the women say it. So now mm -hmm. we're hearing the oh, man, man say it as well. So it's, it's really encouraging. Yes, it's really, really encouraging. I mean, if you look at the Bible, you will see cases mm -hmm. where men have actually prayed for, for their, their wives. wives. Yeah. True. You know that True. they have Isaac prayed, prayed for, for yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. You know, they have prayed yeah. for their wives. So so you need you know, I mean if people of old could do that, yes. then why can't yeah. we also do that yes. in our own time? So yeah. you know, so, so the, the man should not feel like it's not my responsibility, mm -hmm. it's my not me that has the issue, it's <laughs> not my business. The truth is both of you have the issue. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, together. you are in. You are in it together. Yeah. Even when all tests have been done, you know, and all that, and they say, "Oh, both of you are okay. You are fine. You are this and that." I mean, you both have the issues. Mm -hmm. Are you not married to each other? Yeah. Are you not the yeah, ones waiting one. together? Exactly. You know that kind of thing. So, I mean, there is really no no exception to the team member. Mm -hmm. It is both of you in the team. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank sir. You. Was there any time, or did it affect your self-esteem in any way? Were you feeling less of a man than you should feel as a man? Um, would I say that? Not really, okay. because um, sometime in the course of our, of our, our marriage, God blessed us with someone that we could relate with as a son, and okay. we have... I mean, he's been a part of us. He has been a part of our lives and all that. So, so really, the responsibility of a father has always been there. there. You know that kind of thing. The responsibility of a father has always been there. And God also blessed with even some other people out there. Mm -hmm. I happen to be this kind of person that wherever I go, mm -hmm. I always have young people defer to me. So, <laughs> so it's always been like, okay. They are just one pops like that, you know that kind of thing to so many. You know, even when you are not looking for them, they will look for you. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Like, you know, I remember there was a day I was posting different pictures of um, different young people mm -hmm. in my life mm -hmm. and all that. And one of them I said, "Daddy, you've not posted my own picture. I'm still looking for my picture." You know that kind of thing. Like, mm -hmm. I'm looking for my own picture. You know, so God Himself had, He knew what He was doing when all that was happening. happening. So that was like a build up really okay. into fatherhood itself for me. So okay, so um so the period of twelve years, so just want to find out what lessons did you learn in that period? What that you could use so so Okay. Um I learned to be more supportive. Mm. Yes. I learned to trust God. Mm. for for whatever it is you know that that we need and um i learned a lot of patience actually mm. a lot of patience i mean 12 years is a lot to teach you some patience really yeah. you will learn it <laughs> by first, you, know. you know so 12 years was was enough to teach me to be patient and um yes the glory of god he compensated me then mm. i learned that you could actually ask for compensation mm. yes mm. yes yes mm. yes i remember um this last time i was um we were we, we were talking to one of our pastors and she was like see we are going to ask god for compensation mm. you know it sounded strange mm -hmm. but in in 
truth of it, I have waited 12 years mm -hmm. for this. I've had a disappointment mm -hmm. along the line. Then why can't I ask God for compensation? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So we agreed mm -hmm. and we asked for compensation. You know, it was not really weird. <laughs> we were asking for the compensation and God was true to it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, so God, God, was, God was actually true to it because that particular prayer point was very intentional mm -hmm. that God, we ask for compensation, mm -hmm. you know. And he was very true to his word. Mm -hmm. He didn't give us just one, yeah, but he gave us God. double. You <laughs> 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 know, like I said, he gave us double. So that's enough compensation, yeah. right? you know. <laughs> you know, wow. yeah. Wow. yeah that's it. Thank you so much for your story. Thank you, Thank you. so much for sharing. Yeah. Very encouraging. Everything. So, so can you just um, advise other men probably in the situation or even those that are not in the situation? You know? Okay, um, my advice is that um, if you find yourself in the waiting room, first accept you are in the waiting room. Hmm. Be a friend to your partner, hmm. both in prayers, mm -hmm. in whatever it is, mm -hmm. and always be in agreement to whatever you guys need to do. Okay. You know, always be in agreement. Mm -hmm. I mean, can two work together if they do not agree mm -hmm. really, you know. So, always be in agreement that, okay, this is what we want to do. I am in support of it. We're going together. If we fail, we fail together. Mm. If we if we pass, we pass. There's no blame. In there. There's no blame. That ah, you said we should. Ah, it should be you. You know, I told you. I told you, I told you we could wait a little more. You know. You know that no, 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 no. It's just both of you in it. Mm. So, Thank you, Thank, so, you so, so Thank you so, so much, much sir. Yeah. It was very rich and we're blessed. Mm -hmm. And I believe that this is going to be an encouragement to people mm -hmm. out there. I'm sure some wives may want to know what is on their husband's mind. <laughs> so <laughs> this has been helpful. And some husbands out there too have been encouraged. Like, okay, I was not, I'm, I yes, mm -hmm. and I'm not the only one going through this. And this person has gone yeah, through it and has killed through. So we are very grateful. Thank you so much for her. For sharing your testimony god bless you thank, sir. You, thank you so thank much you for so having me so, yeah. so i would like you to just say a word of prayer um i pray for everyone mm. that is watching mm. that is listening that is in the waiting room i pray god gives you the grace amen he gives you the strength amen. he gives you the understanding amen. as to what to do and when to amen. do it in the name of jesus amen. your story will be true and your cup will be full. Amen. Your cup will overflow Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be abandoned Amen. in the waiting room Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have cause to testify and you will have cause to glorify God Amen. in Jesus' precious Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so, Thank you so, so much. much. Thanks, Thanks, ladies. <laughs> it's nice <laughs> sitting with you. <laughs> Sitting here with you guys. We're so glad having you. Thank you for mm -hmm. having me. Yes, and so if any, in case people want to reach you, what are your social media handles that we can just? Okay, on Facebook, I'm Prince Adidamola Salako. Okay. On um, Instagram, I think I am that too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I think those are the two major okay. ones that I email. That I have. Email, email is um, D A M Y S A L Y okay. as Dami Sali at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you so Thank much, you so much sir. <laughs> Thank you very much for having Thanks, me. Thanks everyone for watching and we hope you were blessed. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.